Okay. Here we go. Let's try this. What's up, guys, and welcome once again to another video. My name is Soy Ricardo, and on this week's video, we're going to be talking about headphones. Now, first things first, we all used our headphones for multiple reasons. I also use my headphones to listen to music, audiobooks, and other things. The only thing is that this specific headphones that I bought are strictly for editing since I do have a pair of wireless earbuds, which if you haven't seen that video, I will link it somewhere up here and you can check it out. So those are the ones that I normally carry when I am out and about in the streets. So this particular headphones, I just basically bought them to edit my videos uh, here at home in my studio. Now the ones that I had before and before you guys start judging me for what's about to happen and what I am about to show you, I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very embarrassed to show you. And I hope you're not gonna judge me, but Another thing is that the ones that I bought are not that really expensive. It's just that I don't even know why it took me this long to actually make a $80 purchase, which is incredible for the amount of time that I spent editing, which is hours, hours and hours of editing with those other headphones on. And um, yeah. I don't know why I, I mean, this is one of the rookiest mistakes that I've ever made. And I mean, I, I just don't want other people to make the same mistake. So with that said, guys, let me go ahead and show you my old headphones. Let me, let me go get them. All right. Okay. One thing that I must say, uh, is that these headphones, are pretty decent for five dollars now i bought these headphones and as you can see here they are now they're pretty nice i mean they're okay i bought them at a store called five and below so this is kind of like one of those big stores that they sell items for less than five dollars and I went with Sabrina to go buy some supplies for her school and I just found these and I was like let me just give these a try before this I was just editing all of my videos with the computer speaker with no with no headphones on so that's mistake number one yeah so then I went ahead and I gave these uh, I gave these a try. Now these were five five dollars, uh, so uh, yeah, I've been using them for the longest time. And at first, I'm not gonna lie, they were a lot better than before I bought these, obviously. But then I started noticing two things. One thing, this little uh, pocket inside, this little pocket, it's way 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 too small for my ear now i don't know do i do i have big ears i, I don't think so so um uh, i have pretty normal size ears and these things don't cover my whole ear so that was one thing after wearing these things for like two hours while i was trying to edit it was it, it would leave red marks on my ears uh, my ears would start hurting and I would have to take them off every once in a while to kind of, you know, let my ears rest. Now this little foam here that you see inside, it's not really, it's not really, it's not really, I mean, it's soft, but it's not like soft, soft. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a hard surface. I mean, it's really not soft at all. If anything, it just has very, very little padding here. And you know, that was probably one of the main reasons um, why they were so uncomfortable. Now, the second thing is that if you do notice inside, this is just like a circle. I've done a little bit of research and you know, most of the really good ones don't have a circular shape. I think they have more of like an oval, kind of like a weird, kind of like a, I'm gonna show you. So 
uh, they have a different kind of shape that actually fits your whole year inside that little donut. So that was another thing. So, but I mean, these were five dollars. They still work. And I finally found some that were really, really good for the price and it had a lot of the good qualities that I wanted. What are some of those qualities that I wanted, you may ask? Well, I definitely wanted something that had a little bit more bass. Uh, I wanted something that had noise canceling and I wanted something that was extremely, extremely comfortable to wear. So those were basically just some of the qualities that I wanted. Also, the audio quality, I wanted it to be as best as possible. So this is what I got. Cohen E7 wireless headphones. Now these headphones are really, really good for several reasons. Besides the fact that it has noise canceling, and I believe the price when I bought them were $60, $59.99. Now that is amazing for all of the features that I got for these headphones. So let's go over them. One, they have noise canceling. Now, it's pretty hard to find a good pair of headphones that has noise canceling under $100. That is one thing right there, okay? Uh, noise canceling, okay, what else does it have? 30 plus hour uh, battery time. Obviously, when you're using noise canceling, that does reduce to 20 hours, but still 20 hours with noise canceling, I believe that's still a long time for you know, headphones that were under $80, $100. All right, another thing, it has a Bluetooth, uh, it's a Bluetooth, so you can hook it up to your devices. It also comes with the jack, with the 3.5 millimeter jack cable. If you ever run out of battery, you can always use the adapters to plug them right in. So that's really cool. They do come with this case. And uh, this case is, you know, it's not plastic, but it's a nice way to keep your headphones, uh, I guess, safe when you're traveling. So these are it. These are the Cohen's E7 headphones. And I'm gonna be honest, I really like them. I got them about two weeks ago and I've been meaning to hold off on making this video for several reasons because I really wanted to try them out and put them in a lot of the scenarios that I'm going to be using them for. I mean, like, like I said, these are just for editing, but I'm also going to use them to listen to music and audiobooks, etc. I wanted to go ahead and try it out in those type of environments and see how it worked. So here we go. First of all, I must say that the build quality, the build quality is it's pretty good like they're not super heavy but they're not really light either um, I can right away feel the foam padding on this uh, on these headphones is way 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 better than the other ones that I bought for five dollars um, they're really nice they lay they lay flat on the surface Besides the price, which was $60, uh, $60 $59.99, I do also like that they sound amazing. They sound so cool. I mean, maybe because I've never had a really good pair of headphones, but these sound really, really good. Also, whenever you put them on, I feel like every time I put them on, I get this like sealed around my ear that kind of uh, already blocks out a lot of the noise without even having turning the headphones on. So just with me like this right now, they're off. And I am already not even hearing a lot of the noise that's around me. For example, this big light, that big light makes a lot of noise and I can't even hear it. So 
that's pretty cool. Now, the uh, connection, it's right at the bottom of your, uh, of your headphones. And he also has your power button. Now, in your power button, you also have the little uh, option for the noise canceling and your regular, I guess, BT uh, option, which is your, your regular on option without noise canceling. On the other side, you do have your, uh, this is actually micro USB. So that's one of the things that you can tell that you know, they didn't go for the, you know, USB type C connection. This is just the regular old micro USB. Those are all the things that I do like about them. I am going to mention a couple of things that I do not like about them. Um, and one is that they're kind of big, like they look huge. As you can see, look how big this looks. I mean, they're pretty big. Luckily, I'm not gonna be wearing these outside of my house. So that doesn't really bother me 100% that much. Another thing is that I really don't like this, this shiny finish. It has a lot, I mean, I had to clean them like four or five times before I did all of the shots. Fingerprint magnet, and um, that's another thing that I kind of don't like. Um, Besides that, that's pretty much it. You can take calls with it. They're very, very easy uh, to hook up to any of your devices, whether you have Apple or Android. And what else does it have? Uh, you, you can take phone calls with it. So what have we learned here is that don't make the same mistake that I did and buy cheap $5 headphones so yeah, I spent a lot of time editing, watching videos, uh, watching tutorials, uh, doing a lot of online classes. So you definitely don't want to cheap out on the type of headphones that you buy. Now, if you don't have the money like I didn't have the money at the beginning, I mean, if you don't have anything else, then yeah, I would get a $5 pair. But if you can save up some money and get a $100 pair, I would definitely do that instead. I will leave the link to uh, this particular headphones below. So if you wanna check that out, you definitely can. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you're still here. If you made it this far, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, hit the, hit the like button, notifications, all that stuff. Subscribe if you're not already. More great content coming. And um, that's it for me. Um, that was a lot of talking, for real. But hey, I'm just trying to help you guys.